Hi, I'm pet dentist Joe Banyard, and in this video I will scale my patient's teeth with an ultrasonic scaler. Don't want to be on each tooth for too long. You don't want to heat it up, but there's cold water coming out and cooling down the tooth and the instrument. Removing all, removing all of the calculus. I'll come back to that. I've been on it long enough. These are quite clean, these ones, because the owner is doing such a wonderful job. There's not a lot of tartar. Most dogs that I'm doing have way more. This is an ultrasonic scaler, removing all of the tartar from the tooth. I'm doing it above the gum line. I'm just doing the crown right now. I'll come back later and do underneath the gum line. So. The gauze at the back is to stop any tartar chunks going down and into the lungs through the trachea, the back of the mouth. I've had a look at the x-rays and what looks like we've got a stage one periodontal disease. This is when you really want to be doing this. Okay, now I'm going to go under the gum line and I'm going to clean the pockets. It's called the sulcus because it's normal. but. I'm going to take away all of the tartar from underneath the gum line with this ultrasonic scaler. There's a vibration at the tip of this ultrasonic scaler and it gets very very hot so it's important for it to get cooled by the water and this is distilled water so it's very clean we don't use tap water So as you can see, after ultrasonic scaling, we actually have quite a bit of bleeding. Even though this dog has had fabulous home care, we've still got some bleeding. We've still got some uh, gingivitis. And so it's a good thing to be cleaning these teeth at this point. Next video, I curette below the gum line and pay special attention to problem areas. That's in part six.